Hello and welcome to Mickey Art and today I'm painting shoes again. Yay! Canvas shoes! Okay, so my last pair of shoes were not a success. Uh, they were shiny high heels and um, the paint just peeled straight off again. So I'm doing something different today. I'm going back to the old tried and true method which is painting on canvas but these are canvas made into shoes and some of you may remember at the beginning of the year I painted some shoes and they turned out really well now first thing I need to do is take these up so let me do that and I'll be right back to you all right so I've got these all taped up now, uh, I wanted to show you this one because this one's the second one. <laughs> I, I practiced on this one and now I'm going to show you how to do it properly on this one. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've just used standard masking tape, you know, painter's tape, whatever you guys call it in your country. And um, I've just taped off all the parts that are rubber because I want to keep those black. And I just cut a little bit of plastic. This is actually recycled canvas wrapping. You know when you buy a canvas and it's wrapped in plastic? That's what this is. So you can use it again. Um, and I've just run my nail along the edges as close as I can. And then on the inside, I've left the flap completely free because I want that to be painted. But just like we do when we're painting records, I have put some masking tape across the back of the holes. That's going to stop the paint from pouring down into the shoe through the holes and allow this to have more of a streamlined, smooth, yum, 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 move. Anyway, and then I've just put some masking tape around the edges because these are for me. I'm not too concerned about overpaint. It's not not a biggie for me. And when you're masking, do it as the easy way. If there's a bit that's too long, just peel it back and trim it off. Super easy. So just go around before you start painting and just make sure those are pinched in nice and firm. And uh, we're all good to go. So, got it all taped up. What's next? Next is mixing our paints. Now, because these are shoes and they are going to be moving a bit as I walk, I'm going to add fabric painting medium from Deco Art. Um, I have not seen... A medium like this from any other company if you guys know of one please pop it in the comments um, let me know who else makes them but this one uh, I've used it on my t-shirts and stuff like that and they have lasted so much longer and um, so much longer than just straight paint or, well <laughs> as straight a paint as we do when we're acrylic pouring right um, so I'm going to add some of this to it and now the recipe it gives is two parts paint to one part medium and mm, I'm not so sure about that. I have used this before and I can't remember what it did so we'll just have to go with the flow on it. Um, so what colours are we using? I'm using Mars Black. Phthalo Blue, Brilliant Red, and my favourite, Iridescent Medium. Yum, 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 yum. Now this one's already mixed up. And I'm gonna... Gonna think about it. I think I might put some of this into a pot and add some medium to it. And... We'll see, but I'm going to use that instead of, instead of white. 
Now, I have a couple of pots ready to start mixing into, and I'm not going to bore you all with my mixing, but what I am going to do is just show you how I'm going to mix it. Um, as usual, I'm using recycled tuna tins. They do have a bit of a ridge in the bottom, but that's easy if you're using a stick like this to get into and mix well. So, how do I mix? So, what I'm going to do now is just check in with the paint and ask whether it just wants to have the medium. I do have a new bottle to make up if I need it. Whether it just wants to have the medium or whether it wants flow troll as well. Medium, medium and flow troll, just flow troll, medium. So the lightest option on that is the medium and the flow troll. So let's put, maybe what I'll do is instead of using water with the flow troll, I'll do it like normal. Uh, more than that. Um, I'm going to do it like normal, but instead of using water, I'm going to use flow troll. So this is flow troll. Flow troll is an acrylic paint conditioner, or if you're in the States, it will say latex paint conditioner. Um, and this is a piece of stockings. <laughs> um, what I do is I just trap the stockings under the the cap ring if your cap doesn't come with a ring like this then an elastic band works just as well I'm told by my beautiful commenters in the previous videos so it just sits across there and be a strainer because flow troll gets gluggy bits in it so normally when I mix I'm mixing roughly two parts paint to one part flow troll and just mix it all up some paints will go lumpy and you need to let them sit for a little bit to dissolve and so what I normally do is I normally go through and get it to this point on each of the paints and um, then come back and do it again. Some paints they mix up perfectly smooth each time but as you can see this red is not doing that. So we will um, put that aside and I'll do the other two paints and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay so the red is still a bit lumpy and that's okay what I'm just while that's sitting there doing its thing uh, I can carry on with the blue and the black and um, get creating some magic there so this um, this medium I've actually had for a long time and I'm just gonna squirt some in and stir Oops, I didn't show you how thick it was before I started. Sorry. Um, it is quite a runny medium, so it is going to thin the paint down. Um, I'll show you how thick the blue is, and that's about how thick the... Can you... Anyway, so it's runnier than it was when it started, <laughs> but it's not as runny as it needs to be. Okay, so let's add some more. Now, some of you are wondering, you're doing black shoes. Why are you doing 
black? Well, two reasons. One, I quite like black shoes. I wear black shoes a lot. And two, uh, why not? Always love to have a little bit of variation and a little bit of dark. Interesting. Tall, dark and handsome shoes. How does it get any better than that? <laughs> now, that's definitely getting closer. Oops, I'm dribbling out the side. Um, so, one of the things that I would be suggesting that you... Uh, Where's the opening deco art? Nope. That's not coming off with ease at all. There we go. Um, is just bear in mind how much how much space you've got to cover um, okay it's getting closer it's not quite as thin as I would normally pour with um, but I'm just going to get rid carry on with these and then come back to you so you don't have to watch a whole heap of mixing all right so the paints are finally mixed up as you can see i've added some extra colors um what the the red lumps really did um take a while to dissolve in um it's actually two days later dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Partly because of the red lumps and partly because life started again. Um, you know, when you walk away from something, getting back to it's never always the quickest and easiest thing to do. So I've been asking the shoes what they would like me to do. And the, really what I'm getting is they'd like me to pour just around the edges of there and just let it run just once round not round and round and round like I did with my um my pretty shoes talking of my pretty shoes this is what happened after 10 minutes of wearing them eek so I've got some plans I'm going to see if I can peel all of this off and um I'm going to try it with the fabric paint I'm going to try scuffing up the very very smooth shiny um thing and we'll see if that makes any difference at all but i know with the fabric paint it works well on shoes because i showed you those before um other ones that i've done they lasted ages but these they were canvas these are canvas let's give it another go so what am i going to do um the one thing I realized from doing those high heel shoes is that start your pour on the outside of the shoe. Otherwise, if you start it on the inside of the shoe, just because it's the easiest to do your hand with, then you're going to end up with the pretty bit on the inside. And you have to sit there with your legs crossed so everyone sees the inside bits. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to use the green, the blue, and the silver, or just a smidgen of red, just to add a little bit of interest. Um, and the black isn't actually going to go in the pore. It's just going to, I'm going to put a layer of that on first. So, um, now, this is partly a trick that I learned from Mr. Kate. Um, I don't know if you guys have come across Mr. Kate. Mr. Kate is, um, she's the actress that played the princess in Princess Diaries 2. 
um, Kate uh, ba, ba, ba. sorry I can't remember your first name your last name I mean um, and her and her husband Joey do a um, home deco makeover type show on YouTube and it's super cool now what did they suggest you push down the um, push down the masking tape and then the first coat that you put in now when you're doing lines on walls you let this coat dry obviously but um, you put the color that is that you're masking off so these are black rubber bits um, and so I'm painting with black so that if there is any seep under it's going to be black and it's not going to be obvious um, I didn't do that on my um, previous blue shoes and um, what came out of that was that they ended up with blue on the white rubber soles so thank you Doc, uh, thank you Mr. Kate and Joey for that hint and tip on your show um, it's lots of fun if you uh, into out there funky um, vibrant people um, highly recommend the show uh, she they both have so much fun um, and she has some really cool design ideas so if you're listening to this Mr. Kate anytime you're in New Zealand I would love to see you and perhaps have one of my rooms made over <laughs> Does it get any better than that? So I'm just putting a coat of the black. Now you're probably all going, oh my god, Michelle, you've mixed up so much paint. <laughs> yes, I have. I've mixed up so much paint. And I'm gonna have to do some other fabric painting. How does it get any better than that? What magic can I create with these paints? It's never a waste. All right. So, they are covered in black. Now, we have our negative space. Let's make up our cup. Do, 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 do. Um, mm, I'm actually going to put the red in the bottom so that just a little bit can come out. And red and blue always look good together. Splash of silver. Jump. And then some green. And you know what I haven't done? God, what's right about that I'm not getting? I haven't used my Jurex. <laughs> so why do I need Jurex? Jurex is a, um, a silicon oil. Well, this one, Perfect Glide in the black and red, uh, black and pink. Um thingy what's it is dimethicone and dimethicone is a silicon oil and it is perfect for making cells in your paint so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to squeeze just a little bit onto the stick do 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 And then I'm going to dip it in and stir. And let's see what that makes. Are we ready for this? Bum, bum, bum. All right. Start on the outside or the inside? What do you know? Let's have a look. So I'm going to start. Actually, I'm going to do get the colors flowing by pouring through there. And then 
There we go, we've started to get some non-green coming through. Funky. You could do what I was thinking that um you could do like red and yellow and gold and have it as flames. That would be quite cool. So that looks cool. I'm going to pour some more though, because you know what? I can. It's my shoe. It's my shoe and I'll pour what I want to. Pour what I want to. You would pour too if it was your shoe. There we go. We've got a bit more happening down here. <clears throat> And I definitely want a bit more blue on this side too because I'm a bit partial to blue. Here comes the red. Here comes the red. Da -da -da -da. Here comes the red. And I say... Oh, I'm liking it. Liking it, liking it a lot. So I'm going to put that one aside and do the other one and let that one just drip, drip, drip a lick. Let's put that, excuse my shoulder. Okay, same process. Just thinking you guys might want to see. Not sure how that's gonna hold out, but it's covered with paint. Not saying I'll be a saint. Tuck, 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 tuck into the uh, and make sure we get that edge covered. Now, by wetting up the covering the whole thing with paint to start with it's given it a flow zone um, allows the, the poured paint to slide more easily it's absorbed um, you know if you were just to pour paint straight onto straight canvas that hasn't been prepped in any way like these shoes before they're painted um you would the paint would run slower and it would be absorbed into the canvas and you wouldn't get as much coverage check out the running yummy 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 <laughs> all right new cup uh should i do the same silicon yeah i'm gonna try and I'm going to repeat the process because even though I'm now remembering the silicon, um, what did I do? Blue. Um, I don't. I don't want the shoes 100% different. I just want to 
try and create some similarity. Now, I don't know if you can tell, I did mix the iridescence in. Um, I just used the pre-mixed. Ooh, that's going to be quite different, isn't it? <laughs> um, I used the pre-mixed iridescent medium that I already had and um, mixed that. Come on, how'd you come? This bottle's getting a bit empty, but it's not bad really. It's, I've had it all oh, year. It's my first bottle. Um, dip and stir. Now, already you can tell that this is going to be different because it was all green on top last time. So, let's have a look. Center swipe. Oh, sorry. Tilt the camera back, Michelle. We want to see what's going on. Alright, and let's go, baby. Oh, they are so different. Just like any acrylic pour, it's going to be different. You the cool thing about acrylic pouring is you cannot replicate exactly anything last bit and to me that is super cool check it woohoo all right well this one's got a lot more paint on it than the other one bring the other one over so that one's kind of running down the sides. Do, do, do. Maybe I put scoot you out of the way and put some more through here. Awesome. Okay, so let's get the paint out of the way. And let's get some torching happening. So for those of you new to acrylic pouring, what we do is we put silicon in the paint and then torch it and bring those bubbles of silicon up through up through the paint <laughs> they're so different how cool is that hmm this side is completely covered right the way down to the edge this side is drip covered but this whole shoe is drip covered. Do I need to do something different? Do I need to add more paint to this one to even them out? Or just leave them? Just leave them. Okay, cool. <clears throat> dun, dun, da, la, la, la. This is where we add the fire, baby. So, let me zoom you in. And I'll do the tongue of this one. Pong, tang, ping, pong. If I can get this to work. Here we go. 
Now there's two things that the fire does. One, it pops air bubbles, which is very useful. The other one, it brings little cells up. Now this is not very cellulicious. The target is to stay away from the paint so you're not burning the paint. Keep moving. So all you're doing is warming the paint. I've been asked a number of times, can you use a hairdryer for this? Yes, you can, but the blowing wind I'm not getting cells, guys. This is not pleasing to me. Um, the blowing of the wind from the hairdryer, yes, it warms it and it um, moves the paint. Come on. There we go. This is on my shopping list for today, buying myself a new torch. And I'm not getting cells. Funny thing is, on the other one, I'm going to get lots of cells and they're going to be so completely different. And that's okay. Well, at least I know I've got the air bubbles out. It's funky. Funky, fun and funky. Look at that. Would you wear a pair of shoes like that? Yay! Okay. Now let's swap you over there so that I don't drip on you okay this one's got more cells in there look at that oh, come on I promise I'll buy myself a new torch today okay I just refilled the torch let's give this another go Nope, no cells on that one either. Well, one. <laughs> All right. Well, in the next fabric one I do, I will be mixing the silicon into the paint before I put it in the cup. Dun dun da la la. All right, guys, I'm gonna let these dry. Um, I'm gonna have fun wearing these this summer. They will be awesome. And I'll be back with the dry result in three, two, one. All right, here they are. Check them out. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. No cells, but that's okay. They're cool anyway. I'm definitely going to wear these. Um, well, no cells. There's one indie weedy weedy little cell there. And one itty weedy little little cell there. <laughs> anyway, so the next step is to strip off the tape. And I've got my knife to run around. When you've used tape like this, it does pay just to run a sharp blade along the edge um just well i think it pays especially because we've used such thick paint like it would be very easy for this paint to tear and that's definitely not something we want to do um so just running that blade 
gently around there just making sure we don't cut I mean if you push the blade into the rubber it's not going to create damage to the actual shoe but if you push it into the canvas it could then create that bit that you don't want you know, that damage that could right let's get rid of it do the big reveal Down. what do they look like oh exciting now I had somebody get really um, uncomfortable to the point where they stopped watching the video recently when I was doing the jigsaw puzzle um, using a blade without Kevlar gloves um, hey if if you have a need to wear gloves when you're using a blade go ahead please do um, but for me I'm quite comfortable with my ability to use a knife and also my ability to heal if I do hurt myself so um, that's all good all right now I'm noticing that the paint that's filling these holes in the back was so thick that in places it's actually not completely dry but that's okay because it's going to be popped out by by the lace okay so I'm going to strip the other one off um, and put the laces in and then show them to you put them on my feet ta-da check these out guys they look rocking and look I've even signed them on the back so that people who see me can find me <laughs> I love them they're glorious they will be fun to wear this summer so what magic can you create how much fun can you have and what part of your life can you add more joy more ease and more glory to today what if all of life could come to you with ease and joy and glory I adore you all, have fun, see you soon, and I'd love to look, see you on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. If you want me to pour you some of these, send me the shoes, tell me the colours, and I'll tell you the price. <laughs> see you later, bye!